I'm off. See you later. Okay, bye. Well, I, uh, I'm done for the day. See you later. Bye. Wait, where'd he go? So, this is wave five on Ridge, where we have in the mini boss to make this a much easier build for a lot of other people's builds is for this lighthouse build, what we're gonna do is edit these bottom two archways into normal walls. Now around the outside of the base, we'll have nothing else actually connected and I'll show you in a second. But what we're also then going to do is go underneath and in the same area, we're gonna place these two walls. Now these line up perfectly with the two walls on the base above. The walls on the base in the corners, you want to be having them in the corners these count as almost like a, a one. They're like the closest walls into the corners of the base. Now you need to have two of these walls placed into the corners of the base to try and prevent all the other huts from doing stupid stuff and aggroing and funny into your base. However, these corners, depending on which side you place them, can also be used to draw husks aggro to certain sides of the base. But what we're going to do here is where this mini boss is going to go, what we're going to do is just allow him to smack one wall, giving us the time to edit out another one. So you have plenty of time there. As you can see, I held on to that for quite a while. You'll, you'll have enough time to be able to edit that. Now, when he jumps down, what you're going to do is place the wall back and edit this back to a normal wall. This means that there are now the two structures at the top on the base which the hus will need to go to or the mini bus will need to go to to destroy and he has come down to destroy these almost like aggro walls which are taking his aggro to this area because it's the two walls and they are right smack bang the closest walls to the objective for him to come and get the only thing is by doing this and placing it sort of if you put the walls back round a bit quickly up at the top um, on the amplifier you can cause this to happen and he will just end up almost staying locked to that wall which is just broken so what I might be able to show in a, in a sec is uh, I might just throw some snowballs at him he's he's not going anywhere you can uh, wind him up by chucking snowballs at him so we can chuck snowballs at him He's not even going to move. However, if we replace a wall, you'll find that he's actually going to want to whack it. So he's proper locked onto this wall area right now. Then, if we get close to him, he will still try to punch you. But he's still pretty much stuck there. Next I'll try and edit out this wall. You'll see nothing, nothing's gonna change here. But yeah, if you, um, so if you do that bit on the actual amplifier, it can end up mucking them up like that. Hey everyone, this is going to be a video on controlling mini bosses and smashers on the I believe this is ridge I'll just be showcasing some ways in which you can control the mini bosses something that I will show is you can actually path them off the side here um, best way to do this is actually without the stairs this was just to give them an easy route down and easier up I'm just trying to show different things that you can actually accomplish um, using this strategy But something that you how you want to build this is what I'd recommend using if now certain builds will and won't work if you are trying to use the light bot light there if you're trying to use the lighthouse strategy the best and easiest way to probably do it is actually by using just the walls edited out at the bottom now if you just got straight archways the mini boss will run towards the bottom walls as well as the smashers and they'll be going underneath to destroy these two walls down here and then then they will try to get back round and go up the top to destroy other structures i just screw up here i was trying to see whether i could get him down to the geyser 
But as you'll see now, he'll try and want to go up those stairs. He'll then realise that he no longer can go up the stairs. And so we'll take this incredibly long route to try and get back to the structures near the base. So the route that he will take is he will go all the way through that tunnel and then path all the way up back up the top again. Then to to get him to path back again, all you'd need to do once he's dropped down is just replace those two walls and he will do the entire cycle again. So I might skip to a bit where you can see him actually come back up. Oh, no, no, no need. He's here. So this is the mini boss. You can see him pathing all the way up. So he went through that tunnel and came round. So if you just watch, he'll, he'll come up. And then try and go back down to those walls, which is drawing his aggro. So uh, yeah, Savage was quite interested in this at the minute. <laughs> but what's going on here? So uh, yeah, we go down and we see he is smashing those walls. Now this works because these walls are actually, if you see where they're placed, they are placed right below the actual amplifier. And it is like the sort of like the second wall. So if you count the, the first wall as the one that's touching the amp, and then the second wall, it would almost be like having a side wall on the amplifier. So there you go, you can just see he's literally running round in a, a circle there. But if we disconnect the stairs, he will he'll take a much much longer route. So that was one of them. I'll show another clip. So here we're also, this is another clip taken from the ridge amplifier. And currently I'm just playing this duo with Ty. What, we, what I've got this time is what we're going to be doing to make this build quite simple is literally just placing those two bottom walls as walls on the amplifier and then coming down and placing these two walls which are directly in line with these walls on the amp. These, the mini bosses or the smash will want to come over to aggro that wall and then what you can do while they're busy aggroing it is just edit out this other wall. You can do this as they're breaking it or off or kind of afterwards. Um, it just makes it just means while they're busy aggroing one wall, you can edit the other one. It just makes it a lot safer for yourself to be able to do so. Now once you've put those there, um oh once sorry, once they jump off, what you want to do is then edit back the wall and from an archway to a wall and replace the other wall. Now, if you do this fast enough, you will actually screw up the mini boss to, yeah, do just do that, <laughs> which is, it's a bit scuffed to be honest, but uh, yeah, if, you, if you're fast enough to do it, you'll, uh, you can cause that to happen. And yeah, now we've got a mini boss free wave. I'll just uh, show you something else. Hey everybody, currently I'm just in my Twine Endurance base and I'm just going to be showing you the ridge amp up close so I can show you how to do the controlling of the mini bosses and smashers quite effectively at this amplifier. So first things first, this uses my commonly seen lighthouse build which is in quite a few of my builds that you'll see. Um, it's something that I put around the amplifier where I don't use any of the other corners apart from the one corner with two walls in the inner corners. Now this is almost like my two wall strat that I'd be using in most of the amplifiers around the base. And this will work because if you've got two solid structures attached to the inner corners of one of these sides, it'll just keep the husks from around your base doing stupid stuff and aggroing funky in the tunnels. Now, if I was to edit these into archways, you can still have the tunnels work properly and function, but it's very, very difficult to do so. The easiest way to do it is by just having these as walls and not having weird stuff happening around your tunnels. Now, dependent on which side you will be placing these, you can actually aggro them to different sides. So for instance, if I was to decide to build the walls here and the floor there, what this would then be doing 
especially if, oh, if I had the so if I had the arteries up the top. So imagine this was the lighthouse build here. This would kind of aggro smashers and the mini bosses more to this direction. But since this is also close to this little ridge bit here, there's a really nice build you can do with it. So as you see with this now, is that so they'll be coming towards more this direction. If we edit these into walls, this makes it quite easy to do for this build. So now, so returning these back to walls, what we're going to be doing during this wave is it's also quite important you have a bounce pad here, especially if you're playing constructor, because it easily allows you to get up and down between these two areas. So you can get so what you can do if you're the constructor, you can easily get down here, jump up, jump up, and end up on top of the amplifier. From here, you can make yourself invincible to the takers by doing the lighthouse build. This is going to mean that the light the takers cannot get you from here. If you want to get down, you're down and down here, place the walls and then shoot back up. So shoot back up the top and we are now safe from the takers. So yeah, this is also, so when we've gone down here, you'll also recognize that this area where these two walls are matches up perfectly with the terrain above. And you'll notice that there is literally one wall space here so if i was to put if i could put this wall in this terrain above you'll notice that there is only one wall needed to join it up to the bottom of here the bottom of this kind of darkish area which is the base of the amplifier so this is the only structure that's in between this this allows you to very easily control and manipulate smashes mini bosses and be invincible pretty much versus the takers and yeah that's it another way you can also use this lighthouse build if you want to if you haven't got the walls off the side anymore and you want the extra kind of help versus the smashes you just have another couple of these archways placed it's probably best to do it on the opposite side so you can put these two archways on this side and then what we're going to be doing is if for instance these walls get destroyed down the bottom smasher comes along and does destroy both of these we don't lose our taker protection up the top so this just keeps our taker protection from getting destroyed and knocked down this also means that if this is getting destroyed by these smashers we still have something down below which is connecting these structures so if they go bam bam and this all comes down at least we can still have one person on the top just spinning around frantically in circles building walls for these smashers which will have the one tile reach to be able to reach up from below and be smashing these and it just makes sure that the takers won't be able to come up and get us so this is part of the main lighthouse build that i use for a and how i do the smasher and mini boss manipulation to go around. Sure. Also a thank you to Titastic because what he had done is he had been recording the time that it would take for the actual mini boss or whatever or the smashers to be able to go around and do the entire loop to get all the way back to the amp amplifier after you place these walls back. So to take this whole route through here to go down through the tunnel once they get through here which there's no pathway up there they'll take this ramp go up this one path around here and back up to the base but he, he said it took about two minutes and if they were faster ones about one minute 30 to complete that route i will be testing the time myself just to ch double check that so yeah So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of how to control mini bosses and smashers, as well as also being invincible versus takers on the Ridge Amp. I look forward to seeing you guys somewhere in the next videos where I will be showcasing how to do this on each and every amplifier. Some use slightly different mechanics, but they all allow you to do things that kind of 
take care of the mini boss and the smashers and kind of keep yourself protected at the same time. So yeah, I'll see you guys around soon and thanks for watching. Bye. Well, I, uh, I guess I'm done for the day. See you later. Uh...